Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Spider-Man 2, issue number one of five. And uh, yeah, I, I like this. <laughs> I generally do. I don't know really what else to say about that except to talk about the comic itself. And that basically you have uh, Spider-Man and Spider-Man. <laughs> there seems to be something going on here. Something's up where they're both tied up by ropes and they're trying to get out. They don't know how to get out. Their masks are removed also. So, yeah, whoever gets on this plane that's about to leave, if these guys can't get out fast enough, um, yeah, they're they're screwed because this person knows who they are. He's seen their faces. Maybe put them on YouTube or something. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Miles gets this idea to use his super mega venom blast. Um, yeah, this is basically like anybody who doesn't know, uh, if you only follow one Spider-Man, not the other, uh, basically it's like a Nova flame, <laughs> all right? Like, like, uh, the human torch, Johnny Storm's Nova blast, except with his, uh, bioelectricity energy. Now this leaves him extremely weakened, just like with, uh, the human torch. So he uses this Peter's hurt. Um, Miles is exhausted and he goes chasing after the plane. He fires his web and just misses, flat out misses. By then the turbines kick in full blast and the plane is off and body bye. So, uh, yeah, at one point, uh, uh, Spider-Man Peter Parker actually says to Miles, he says, yeah, uh, this is my fault. I should, I had so many times to tell you to not be Spider-Man and I never took the opportunity. So... Uh, the, the, the out of continuity stuff, because now we're going to go to the past, basically, which actually the present, this is, I guess, I don't know, a day in the future, a week in the future, whatever, but I'm, I'm digging this. I'm digging this a lot like that right there. It leaves it open. That's like, okay, whoa, what the hell? And this clearly has something to do with Spider-Man one, uh, that, uh, mini series where at the very end, Spider-Man, uh, Peter Parker looked on uh, Google really quick and he checked out, he typed in Miles Morales because, mind you, Spider-Man Peter Parker is older than Peter Parker, uh, on the 616, is older than the uh, 1610 version of Peter Parker. So it would only make sense that the Spider-Man on this Earth, well, on, on Earth 616, would be older than the Miles Morales who we know who came over to this dimension from his dimension, the, the Ultimates universe. And uh, we get to see him at the end of this. He's all scarred up, and he apparently never wanted to go back to New York until a certain thing happened. And uh, it says, you know, this woman comes up to him, secretary, whatever, and says, you know, Mr. Morales, um, Taskmaster has appeared. And obviously this means some other Taskmaster. I guess this is Taskmaster from back on 1610 or some other version. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know yet. This was like the very end. And he says, okay, well, I guess I got to go back to New York then. Wow, sick. Guys, I'm going to give this comic an A. Like, this is a really good way to start off this series, this this little mini series. I'm wondering, are they going to be able to jam pack enough inside five issues or are they going to stretch it out because they've only got a little bit of a story? I don't know, but it's Bendis. And I'm pretty, I know a lot of people don't like Bendis. Uh, I'm not on that kick. I actually really, really like Bendis a lot. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be amazing. Plus, I mean, like, what what issue of Amazing Spider-Man or Ultimate Spider-Man did he write that wasn't good? Honestly, even the Clone Saga stuff that he did over there was great. So psh, whatever, man. But um, yeah, uh, and I got to admit, I, I started reading this just like, okay, whatever, let's see if there's any good. And once we had the interaction with uh, Miles and Genki and all of a sudden this new girl that Miles likes and this, the, the somewhat backstory that we got for that, done. I was sold. Like I actually started to, I don't know what the, not dry heaves, that, that would be the exact opposite of what I had. But basically like I started to get, not, not choked up, but like, I don't know, whatever. I got a little happy reading this and the entire rest of the comic I was reading with a huge grinning, uh, cheesy smile on my face. So yeah, <laughs> whatever, man. Like really, really good writing in this. I love this. All right, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.